Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Or if this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. Over here, I share all kinds of things in my journey of life. Most recently being my journey of home buying, home owning, home renovating, making over every space. And we've got so many more spots to touch. So of home decor, home improvement, self-betterment, self-love, motivation, inspiration, whatever I feel is beneficial to share. If it's something that you are into, feel free to subscribe, join the tribe, we would love to have you. I'm excited today, y'all, because we're starting a new series. <laughs> and I started the video in the office intentionally, y'all, because A, <laughs> favorite room in the world. Like, I think we already established that. But I can't just sit here and dream all day. We gotta we got snap out of it, because we got a whole house to fill. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to start the video here. Don't worry, we're not gonna be here. <laughs> but I wanna ask y'all, I wanna, I want to take a little poll before we start this video because this is the beginning of the new series and the reveal of where we are going next in the house. And I know y'all got some guesses because y'all have already been in the comments. But before we go any further, I don't care if you gotta pause this, I don't care what you gotta do, but comment below what room, what space, what area, where you think we're gonna focus on in the house next. I know that there are three main spaces that y'all always bring up. That is the master bedroom, the kitchen, or the living room. So cast your vote in the comments, y'all, because we finna go on another adventure. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a guess. We downstairs. <laughs> now I'm gonna stop playing. The kitchen, y'all. The kitchen, the kitchen, the kitchen. The, we in the kitchen. We are in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> and I say yeah, cause look, just so we clear, you know, you might see a bit of a mess. I didn't, look, this is not, look. <laughs> y'all already know how I go. I didn't clean this up all nice and pretty for y'all. But here is the kitchen, okay? Also here's the living area. I think I'm going to, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make up the front room. Like that's not gonna be a part of it, but I am gonna do something very small that I hope is gonna like give me a temporary solution to something that has been irritating me but we're gonna get into that into this video too so don't worry okay we're gonna do some things but here is my kitchen very bare very bare I haven't put any like decorative attention into the kitchen obviously aside from my fixtures if you are new here I'm gonna just pop a quick little picture of what my kitchen was before I even moved in here okay just so you could <laughs> understand that even where we are today will be considered a, a makeover but but in the kitchen makeover portion it's really gonna be about adding things that make my kitchen feel a more aesthetically pleasing more cohesive and well-rounded but homey comfy welcoming because right now I just feel like it looks bland sterile and blah right okay Okay, here I am. <laughs> but yeah, here's my kitchen. Voila! Echo, echo, echo! I know y'all can see like some boxes behind me, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> we're not gonna get into that yet. So we're gonna do things like tackle the pantry, which I'm not gonna open right now, but y'all know. <laughs> y'all know we gonna get that open. Y'all gonna see the mess. Pantry makeover will be a part of the series. Let's just say that and we got, it's gonna be some work. We're gonna get into some fridge organization. Cause I mean, I ain't got none. You got bottle laying to the side. Pinko man, stay with the reminders. Repeat after me. I am open to receive an infinite flow of abundance. Claim it. Claim it <laughs> is claimed. This closet also is a mess. So we just we got some hidden messes in the kitchen. My window seals have just been collecting a bunch of nothingness, as you can see. This window seal just got a bunch of nothingness. We're gonna get into creating a beautifully aesthetic kitchen nook. 
that's gonna be a whole thing. I'm gonna start right now with moving this stuff because all this right here, aside from that, cause that just kinda came, I would say maybe like a month ago. So we're gonna open that too, but all this came from storage. I just sat it there and it's been there the whole time. This is my KitchenAid mixer. I don't think nothing is in here. This is a chalkboard that I had in my apartment that really just don't go anymore. But it's also a nice size, so I haven't completely let it go. My air purifier, which I'm gonna take it upstairs and put it into the office. The point is, is step one, let us clean this little area here because since I've moved here, since I moved in, I have not been able to enjoy empty space here. So let's do that. Oh. Um, did I tell y'all about my Amazon addiction? Uh, hold on, let me get this stuff in here. You would think this was a sponsored video. Now that came like right when I started recording, but it's not. But Amazon, what you can do is hit me up. Cause, cause. So, pause. <laughs> Give y'all a quick little um, Amazon grocery haul, okay? We got some meatballs, we got some carrot chips, y'all. Hummus and carrot chips, I'm not even playing. Tastes like chips to me. I don't know if it's a mental thing, I don't know. But it's such a good combination, try it. Carrot chips and garlic hummus to be specific, okay? I love that. My zucchini, which is hella suspect. I don't know how I feel about that. I might have to reach out to them. Got some grapes, got some bananas, my PB2 for my peanut butter, some eggs. Look, I don't always buy bread, but when I do, <laughs> it's Dave's killer bread. Rice cakes, super boring, but they get the job done. We got some special sauce, marinara, my avocado, and boom, very simple. This is just like a re-up order, right? Cause tonight I wanna make meatballs with zucchini pasta, and marinara sauce, just real basic. <laughs> Real basic, we ain't chefing it up. Let me put this food up, y'all need to see that. All right, before I was so conveniently interrupted, let's get back to this. How many of y'all use um like delivery services for your groceries? Instacart, Ship, things like that. I probably use them all at this point, but you know, I already got an Amazon account, so it's about saving that money. All right, so like I said, step one, we're gonna go ahead and free up this space. Now that I have that space open, y'all, I have a surprise. Ooh! Oh, that's better. That light. Okay. All right, y'all. So, an Amazon seller reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review one of their products, y'all. And, like I always say, because it just be working out that way sometimes, right? on time because they sent me something that I had thought about getting for the kitchen, considered it. Wasn't like that that press, so it wasn't like priority, but I knew down the line I wanted it to be a part of my kitchen. And let me show y'all what we got. Now don't judge me y'all. I can carry a lot of things. Your girl is strong, okay? But this right here, I really could barely get it in the house. Where is neighbor when you need them, right? Ugh. Hold on, hold on. I'm using my rug to drag this. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega. Hey. Okay, y'all, let me stop playing. This is a built-in wine and beverage cellar, y'all. Basically a wine and beverage refrigerator, y'all. But when y'all see this, <laughs> it goes perfectly. I will say, if you can see, it looks extremely tall, but it is on top of one of those thing things. I don't know what that's called. Y'all, I, I, I can't lift that box by myself, so this should be interesting to open it. I'm just hoping that it's at least the same, if not a little bit shorter than my countertops. But let me stop talking. Let's open it first and then we'll go from there. I am so excited! Okay. So the packing is 
first of all, immaculate. There's like a whole piece of construction inside of here. Okay, so that's the top protective part of the packing. They've even got these corner pieces. excited to be focusing on the downstairs area y'all i have been putting off the kitchen purposely because i have been working in the background on something that is just it's, it's a crazy blessing is all i'm gonna say but y'all see what i'm talking about let's get this out so these are the handles also comes with a set of keys do any of y'all have like a wine cooler, a refrigerator for your wine and your beverages? Let me know what brand do you have. Do you swear by it? Do you feel like it's not needed? What are your thoughts on wine coolers, beverage, refrigerators, and such? I really want to know. I really want to know because I've always thought about it, but I'm like, I'm not a big drinker. So is it really worth the investment? But also, I do have, you know, certain bottles of alcohol that I've been holding on to from like, you know, my international travels and stuff like that. And I have them like, I'll show y'all, I'll show y'all that, but okay. Here is the manual bodega. So these pull out like so. Let me go get my drill. I know what time it is. Yeah, my baby girl ain't never too far from me. All right, so. Okay, that's easy enough. Very simple. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Push that in. This is like suction too to keep the coolness in. Y'all, the quality of this so far, I am impressed. I love these handles. They give me very KitchenAid vibe, you know? Y'all know KitchenAid is like my dream kitchen suite. The white one, if you know, you know. <laughs> but that's what this is giving me and I, I'm here for it. So let's get this one in. I'm still like, I'm, I'm right here and I'm just looking at the flow of it. And it's almost like this was meant to be right here. Okay, so we got the handles on, boom. This also comes with a set of keys. So if you have kids that be trying to get into your stash or just friends that be trying to drink what they ain't supposed to be drinking, you know what I'm saying? Keys, you control, you control it. Let me plug her up. So we can really see what's tea. Nice long cord. So now that she's plugged up y'all and she's gotten started, let's take a closer look at her. It already feels super, super cool in here y'all. And let me just give y'all a rundown of the features of this thing y'all. It has this LCD screen control. 
it's flickering in the video, but it's not like flickering in real life. I think it's just a technology thing. But this is LCD. It's touch screen. I can turn the, whoa, it's super responsive. Like literally, oh, girl, the party is, oh my gosh. Y'all see them lights? Oh, that's a vibe. That is a vibe, y'all. Excuse me. I love you can turn it off and on, and it comes on so smoothly. It goes off like a like a smooth transition, you know what I mean? Again, I don't know why it's flickering on this camera, but it's not like here. Okay, anywho. Okay, so boom. It's got the LCD screen control system on the left and the right, mind you. They both have the option of different temperatures. You've got the wooden shelves. Y'all know this is right up my alley. Wooden shelves, y'all. And they go far back and deep. They also have the wired rack, the wired shelf with the wood tip, just to keep the aesthetic. And it's two in one wine and beverage refrigerator. So on the left side is where your wine will go. On the right side is where your beverages will go. Whether you drink spritzers, whether you want to just put some pop in there or whatever cans or really anything because you can control the temperature. I mean, you really don't even have to use this for wine. It just keeps your beverages cool, whatever beverages you choose. Double glass door. Quality, y'all. Quality double glass doors and you see how smooth they open and close now i told y'all about the keys it has that front vending design and safety lock so you control this you control who comes in and you control who goes out so boom you got your key locked lock got your key locked locked I mean, nobody else is in this house, so I mean, I really don't personally need a lock right now, but look, I'm finna get a puppy soon, and I don't know what kind of lifestyle they're trying to live. <laughs> Let me unlock this. Super, super easy to unlock. To the left, to the left. Real Beyonce-like. Boom, and we're back. When I open this, I feel the coolness immediately, and it just came on. And we're like all up on it and inside of it, but when it's closed, you can barely hear it, so it's super, super quiet, y'all. Let me just give you a quick pan of what I was looking at when I was sitting here. You see how it just seamlessly goes with the aesthetic of my appliances? It's a mess in here, okay, ignore all that. But do y'all see that? Beautiful. Now, like I said, this could be freestanding or it could be a built-in. What I thought about, because honestly, I could kind of just keep it here, but to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, to bring it in together, I'm either going to do one of the two. And I don't know if it's going to be like a down the line thing or a part of the series. Probably a part of the series, child. I know I can't look at stuff that irritates me too long, but <laughs> I was thinking of reaching out to the company that I got my countertops done with to see how much it would be for just, this is 24 four inches wide like a 24 inch slab of the same kind of countertop granted I'm sure it won't like match perfectly with the design but I'm fine with that as long as it kind of flows and it's just like basically an extension of my countertop that'll also give me the ability to allow this wall to be of design because I'd get floating shelves here you know what I mean like this gives me extra space and well needed it'll make sense later oh my God. Or what I think might be a more cost effective, also a way to kind of like switch it up a little bit is if I get a slab of butcher block, right? Same thickness, same width as this and mount it on top of here in some way. So it'll be an extension of the countertop, but it'll have the butcher block. Now, I love the butcher block look, but I was just kind of like iffy of how it would clash with my floors. Just too much wood, but I think it would be fine if I had just that corner piece. Tell me what y'all think. Leave it as it is, which I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Price a slab of the quartz that the rest of my countertops have, or do a DIY, try and get a piece of butcher block and put it there. Because if I have floating shelves, they'll be wood. Like, I think it will help break up the black, gold, and white of the kitchen. We're gonna bring more woodsy plant-like vibes into the space. 
but I think this is absolutely perfect. <laughs> but I absolutely, but I absolutely love this, y'all. I wanna thank so much the Amazon seller. I'm gonna link this refrigerator in the description box below. It is on Amazon. I'll be 100% honest, it's not the cheapest, but it's also not the most expensive because these refrigerator coolers, they get expensive. But for the quality of this and what you get, I highly recommend it. So click the link in my description box if you are in the market for this, look at it. Like 10 out of 10. And y'all also know with me, I look at reviews. Look at their reviews. They have amazing reviews from people who have already tried it, tested it, true. Check for yourself. I'm not here to say anything, <laughs> but I am here to share good quality things if it's something that you're in the market for. Oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all because I did mention it. See, this is <laughs> where I've had like my stowaway alcohols and I think I'm gonna put those in there. I don't know because I also don't want people grabbing for them because I'm not planning on drinking them. That's my limoncella from Italy, my champagne from Italy, my champagne from Iceland. Why am I Telling y'all all this, I don't know. So boom. <laughs> it's time to let go. Y'all, I'm a creature of habit. I'm a creature of habit. I'm a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it is broke and it still works, I'm gonna make it do what it do. Anywho, okay. In a previous video, like a recent video, not too far back, I shared with y'all that I got the Nespresso coffee machine. It was gonna replace old Betsy here. And then when I turned the camera off, I put that Nespresso back in the box and I put it in the corner over there. And then I just continued to use her. Why? because I know how to use her. I could just press one button and I get what I need from her. When I look at this, I see the fancy little pods and it just looks very, very much like I'm gonna have to learn something new. So I just didn't do it. But today we are gonna rip the bandaid off. <laughs> I don't know who originally said that, but whenever I say that, you gotta rip it off like a Band-Aid. Just rip it off fast like a Band-Aid. That's what I think about. But because we are officially now in the kitchen and getting things done, I gotta say bye to you, girl. And look how sad it is, y'all. Look at the display. <laughs> this happened after the video. I still been using it though, watch. Let me show you. Look, all you gotta do, you can still press that, put a little check mark. I ain't gonna make no coffee. I should make one final cup with her, shouldn't I? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Y'all, we about to make the goodbye cup of coffee. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls. Let me close you up, girl, because you just exposed me a little so much. I'm really interested though, to see if I notice that much of a difference in the quality of the coffee. Let me get my creamer. Don't look at my fridge, y'all, it is. Ooh, Y'all keep y'all fancy smanshy. This right here, best creamer ever. Oh, I don't know. As you can tell, this is kind of like a shadowy area, but underneath here I have these lights that come on at night. Um, I just need to charge them, but I got them from Amazon. I really like them. I don't even know why I just told her that. But anywho, let's get this nice cup of joe, y'all. The one final cup. Oh my God. Ooh, that cream is so thick. It's only right. Tastes like years of build up. Let me stop playing with y'all. All right, y'all, all the theatrics, just to say, we're saying goodbye to Big Bertha. She is probably triple the amount of recommended years for a coffee machine and we bring it in the Nespresso. I am not about to learn how to make this. I'm definitely not about to make a whole nother cup of coffee either. So we are simply gonna just switch her out. And with the new, I guess I need to install that outlet cover now, right? <laughs> Easy peasy, but here she goes. New coffee machine, who dis? Okay, and no more K-cups. We brand new in this thing, okay? So, because this is such a dark space, I might or might not, we'll see. 
I want to have a little coffee area, but not like make it a big thing. I want it to be very, very minimalistic, but also you'll know that this is the spot for coffee. I'm either going to keep it here or once I figure out what I'm going to do with the top of that, I might allocate it over here. We shall see. So what we're going to do here, this is not kitchen related, but let's talk real quick about, about Lil Blue, okay? Lil Blue, I got her as soon as I moved to Florida in 2012. So she's going on a good 10 years, y'all. 10 years old. She's from rooms to go. She's comfortable. I honestly be sleeping on her more than I sleep in my bed sometimes, but that's a whole nother story. But the thing about it is this blue color, this blue color, y'all, especially as the holidays are approaching <laughs> and fall is here and it's just about to be a whole other vibe. I really, really want my taupe, my tan, my cream sofa, but one room at a time. And since this is functional and in my mind, I kind of already know the sofa that I want, but it is like completely out of stock. So it's really a waiting game to even be on the list for the one I think I want. When I talk about sofas, we're not talking about couches. That box right there that you see from Amazon is what I'm hoping, <laughs> ooh, child, the ghetto. <laughs> It is what I'm hoping will be a way for me to kind of neutralize this area a little bit more. Now, while I don't want this rug in here, it has sentimental value. My mama bought me this rug when she came and visited. So I cherish this. <laughs> I'ma leave the rug be. I'ma leave the rug be because it makes me think of my mama. Anywho, but the couch. While I know I'm not gonna be getting a couch right now and it's not priority, I know that I'm starting to get in the feels of starting to decorate for the holidays. I've been trying my best to hold off on shopping for fall, y'all. As you can see, I haven't purchased anything fall related because y'all know my vibe, I know my color scheme. It's the neutral, it's the warm, it's the cozy. And baby blue just, she's not going to, <laughs> she's not gonna work with that. So I bought, <laughs> ooh, this is ghetto, y'all. Okay, real quick. When somebody first suggested this to me, I thought, ghetto <laughs> i'm so sorry i am so sorry when i think of couch covers i just think super obvious not appealing to the eye i just think just wait to get a new couch that was just my initial thought but i'm not in a situation to get a new couch right now and that is just reality so i found a couch cover on amazon i am hoping that i can at least get it on my little sectional here okay and at least be presentable or look nice enough to neutralize the space a little bit more please please because blue is not my color when it comes to decor it is just not so hopefully this will be a good budget friendly temporary solution to bring a different vibe to this living space okay so boom Ooh. now here's the thing i thought this was more of like a cream it's a little more brown than i thought it was but we're just gonna go for it at this point y'all we're just gonna go for it wish me luck i don't know what the heck i'm doing my hope is that if i can get this entire couch covered that'll allow me to go and like shop for throw pillows and start tying in just a better seasonal vibe. I just ordered that for just like a temporary seasonal situation that came to mind. But yeah, watch me try and figure this out. <laughs> time lapse time.
it got very dark. But here is the result. I think I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more. I didn't realize that what I ordered was for if your couch is actually two pieces and mine isn't. It's just one piece here and it's a piece added here. So I had to rig it to kind of make it work. You can still see a little bit of the blue at the bottom. Like I said, I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit more. And I don't love it, if I'm being completely honest. I don't love it. However, I don't hate it. It's not terrible. I think once I get like some throw pillows on it, then I'll be able to like, I don't know, kind of make it work. I don't know. Don't love it. But I'm gonna keep these on here. And it's gonna be what it's gonna be. So, so yeah, if y'all saw a better way that I can do this, please let me know. It's not blue anymore, so that's a plus. <laughs> but it's not blue. You know, it's obviously a couch cover, okay. But the goal was to say goodbye to the blue, and we did do that. So once I get some throw pillows, I think it'll flow a little bit more. While I don't love it, it's all good. Cause there's gonna be a time when I bring in my couch, knowing that I took time to find the exact one that's both comfortable, beautiful, and perfect for the space. And blue will be a thing of the past. But for now, we are working with what we got. And this temporary situation is where it's at. Okay, wanted to kind of lay on and see if it opened up. Let me lay her down. We watch the TV, boom. Damn internet, you scary, which I know about that. Okay, okay, okay. I think we good. Look at honey, y'all. Honey is really growing. <laughs> what y'all think, y'all? Is this just too, is this just like too ghetto or, or y'all think I can make it work? I'll make it work regardless, so it is what it is. Maybe we'll do some fall shopping soon. Comment below if y'all want to do that, cause now that I have more of like a neutral base, I feel like I can bring some things to life. What I need to do now is clean up this mess. So that is what I am going to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you again to the Amazon seller who sent me this wine beverage refrigerator. I really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to get a code for y'all, so if they do provide that to me, I will drop that down in the description box below. Y'all know I'm all about saving a coin, and I go to bat and try to get y'all some savings. So if I get that, I'm gonna drop that down below. Um, I'm just waiting for the response on that. All I'm gonna say, is y'all are going to want to stay tuned to what is next because we're actually gonna do a little bit of renovating in the kitchen. Something that is really going to bring it more aesthetically to life, functionally to life, and just, I I'm gonna be quiet, I'm gonna be quiet. Oh, now that the light is on, you can kind of see it a little bit more too. It's not bad, now that I kind of look at it, you know? If you're not like, oh, looking for imperfection and like looking at it that way. But anywho, yeah, who's excited for the kitchen makeover? I'm excited. I don't even have in my mind like everything that I want to do. Um, and I'm honestly not going to do like, I'm not going to overdo it. But we're going to do it in a way that it really, really like, we going to do it. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. So get prepared, get ready. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below all of your thoughts. Let's talk about it in the comments, y'all. That conversation, that engagement really helps the channel. So I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next video. Now, clearly I'm not eating in there and I'm just drinking, I'm an alcoholic. That bottle has been in there since March, by the way. Can y'all see? Hold on. What the hell is going on? Hey, girl. Y'all, I have fungus gnats from my plants, and it's a whole thing. Is that a bluebird? What kind of bird is that, y'all? You mother Wasting my time. I got to reposition. Oof. Is that what?
is that? Oh my god! What is that? I love the lighting right here. I'm gonna waste a lot of time. We in the kitchen. We in the Who my socks match. <laughs> Don't get used to it. Alright, y'all. <laughs> but no. It's Zork. So we're gonna do things like tackle. What's in this? I don't know why I knock on that. It made me feel kind of weird. I didn't like that. Um, I didn't like that. <laughs> I'm breathing really heavy because it's bad. Let me see if y'all can see me better. <laughs> Absolutely not. I put on my jewelry just to go to the. Hello, bloopers. <laughs> Let me get my scissors, y'all. Y'all there? Okay. Another box. It's gonna sit in my garage for three months. Now I showed y'all. Hold on, where them keys at? Where them keys at? Where them keys at? If you hear something, where them keys at? Here they go. What did I just say? First of all, y'all see me? <laughs> Switcher out. What the fuck? Y'all heard it? Also ignore my eyebrows. You know the old excuse, so I'm trying to let them grow. I really am though. <laughs> okay. Remember that song came out? Just got a body about a week ago, a week ago. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. Everybody can pull it whole, oh. Okay, so at Amazon, Oh, hell no. Mm-mm. I have to put the inside of my cheeks something crazy. Mm-mm. Hold on. Are we crooked? Are we crooked? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out when you're editing and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. I go where I want good. What up? Yeah. I go where I want good. Yeah. I go where I want good.